Hello, my name is Jeff Thornton. I'm the Illinois Great Rivers United Methodist Men's Conference President. I first want to thank you for spending your time with us this weekend at annual conference. The work that each of you do is very important. I will ask a few questions during this presentation. My first one, are you satisfied with the current fields that we have in our conference? My answer is no. In some areas of our conference, we still harvest the same way we did in 1967. In 1967, an acre of corn produces around 80 bushels an acre on the average. Today, an acre of corn produces 180 to 200 bushels to the acre. In order to produce more for the harvest, each of us needs to reconsider how we approach ministry. We need to make sure that we are living in, the, in 2016 and to get away from the 1967 concepts. So, how do we get a better harvest? One way to accomplish improving our harvest is to provide better unity and communication. I'm asking for your help today. Currently, we have less than 12% of the churches with a chartered UMN group. Now, most of the churches provide men's ministry, but they could better utilize programs and produce a, a better harvest if they would charter and provide contact names so ministry resources can be directed to your individual church. Let me give you a conference statistic. In 1992, our conference had a membership base of 198,520. Fast forward to 2014. We now have a membership base of 129,587. The purpose of United Methodist Men is this. It's the Great Commission found in Matthew 28. This should also be the purpose of the church. I am inviting the pastors and the leaders of the churches without chartered men's group to help me create men's ministry that reaches out to men that are currently not attending our church. So, what type of people are we ready to harvest? I will call this the non-traditional Methodist men. This is a man that may not be attending your Sunday morning worship. This man will also not look like you. He may have long hair. He may be full of tattoos and many piercings. He may drive a Harley. He may feel uncomfortable around you. This man will, will have the same type of problems that some of us have. He may have relationship problems. He may have possible addiction problems. He may not be able to hold a job. And he may not know that Jesus loves him for what he is and that we, the people, care about him. Once we step outside our church walls and find folks to help, we will see a harvest increase. These are the people that are ripe to hear the words of the Lord and also see the light of hope and also receive the grace of Jesus Christ. At Charge Conference this year, I enjoyed Bishop Keaton's video. In this video, he asked if your church had a vision. Think about the perception of Methodist men. Is your perception a group of 90-year-old men eating breakfast on a Saturday morning? Or is your perception a 20-year-old man tweeting about how he has found the grace of God through his Bible study with his 50-year-old mentor? Awareness can change behavior. A farmer at harvest time are worried about the efficiencies of getting the crop to market and also about maximizing the best price that he will receive for his product. My vision for the United Methodist Men and for the Methodist Church is the same as a farmer's vision. We need to be efficient in the way we handle our fields. We need to increase spiritual value. And finally, we need to aid members in their spiritual journey. I need your help. The Methodist Men would like to partner with your church. We have a table set up in the display area. Please visit our booth. If your church does not have a chartered group, see us at the booth. The process is simple and the rewards for harvest is ripe. Thank you so much for your time today and may God bless.